three of Terraform with Google Cloud. So in this video, we will see that how to create our very first VM through Terraform on our Google Cloud platform. And we'll also create some subnets in VPC through our Terraform script. So let's start. So before starting to write our script, we first have to locate our key in a folder so that we can use it. Right. So go to download and create a folder there. Which is named era form and copy the key and paste in the folder. Right now, open the git bash and go to the location where your key is located. Let's maximize the screen and go to the place where your keys are located. For me, it's Terraform Google, right? Okay, ls. Okay, here is our key. So now let's open Visual Studio from here with command code dot. Now let's wait till Visual Studio gets open. So our Visual Studio is open now. Yes. Now let's see the key which we have downloaded. So this is the folder which we have created for Terraform Google. And this is the key which we have downloaded, right? The key has type project ID, private key id private key many things are there in the key so now let's create our first main.tf file so click on new file and name the file main.tf main.tf file is ready now so we'll start your R scripting. So first of all, we have to specify our provider. So we are going to use Google Cloud Platform, right? So for me, I have already taken notes. So I'll copy it from here. Okay. So this is our provider which we are using, which is Google, right? And the project ID should be your project's ID. Let me show where to take it. From where to take it on your second project go to your dashboard and here it will show your project id you can see your project id so copy this project id project id and place at this place where project is written right next is credentials so here we have to specify our json file so for us it is this so right click and rename it so we can copy it on the array copy and we'll paste the file here right and last uh, second last is region so region you can choose your region in which you want to create your first vm and zone also you can specify here right so for me region is us west 4 and zone is us west 4b so next is to add our network interface here so we'll copy that also Right. This is a network part. Copy it and paste it below. Okay, so this is saying that it will be connected to the default network part, and of course, it will be internet accessible. Right, so this is our script. We are creating our first VM here. So, first of all, the part is of provider part, right? On which cloud you want to create your VM, your credentials and your region in which region you want to create. Then we have added a block of our compute instance. right? And last is our network part. So let's save the file and open the new terminal. And let's perform Terraform cycle to create our first VM on Google Cloud Platform. Let's wait till the terminal is getting opened. 
Okay, so our terminal is open now. So let's perform our Terraform life cycle. As we know that Terraform life cycle has four parts. First is Terraform init. Second is Terraform plan. Third is Terraform apply. And last, fourth is Terraform destroy. So first step is to give Terraform init command. So let's do the, let's wait. It gets initialized. It will take some time. So initialization is done now. So let's move further with the next command, which is Terraform plan. It will plan the execution for us. Let's wait. Okay. So this is the plan, right? It will create an instance, right? Compute an instance here. Okay. So resource and all the things are provided here id instance id right it will be known after apply so once it will get created there then id will be given to us right is not known now of course okay so let's move further with terraform apply it will ask you yes or no right let's give yes here and create our first vm will take some time to create let's wait it is showing that it's creating the vm so let's wait till it gets created so our vm is created now it is showing that resource one added zero change and zero destroyed so let's go to our console and refresh it We'll be able to see our vm running here okay so we can see our uh, instance here terraform instance which we have created we can also go in there and check our id and everything here yes so here it is showing instance id description type status creation time right and here we can also stop the vm we have many things to do with it. We can stop it, suspend it, reset it, delete it. Right? We have many things. We can also create a, a machine image. We can monitor logs. We can view logs. We can view monitoring. So there are many options to do with our VM. So we have created our first VM here. And the next part, we'll see how to add VPCs and subnet to our VM.